Using Nano Banana images to create cinematic AI videos has become insanely good. Watch the water movement here. The camera is tracking the surface motion very smoothly. Same for this snowboard scene, it looks so realistic. One of my favorite details is not just the quality of the snow, but also the realism in this shot where the ice is still in his beard. But I've also used Nano Banana to create fictional cinematic movie scenes such as this pirate battle scene, where multiple characters move through a frame and fire and smoke are in the background. And that goes the same for this ancient battle scene. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can create both realistic and fictional cinematic scenes using Nano Banana Pro images as the base of the scene. I'll walk you through both these workflows since the execution is quite different. The tool I'm using for this is Lovart. This is because I can combine Nano Banana Pro with best video generation models, but also because of Lovart's own AI agent, which makes customization and control very powerful. So let's get into Lovart and start with the nano image generation. The goal here isn't to create the prettiest images, it's to create images that are motion ready. And this is where most workflows break. Here's the difference. If you generate an image of a surfer standing still on a beach and then ask the video model to animate him surfing a wave, the model has to invent a new pose, a new environment, and new motion. That's three layers of hallucination. The output will look unstable. But if you generate an image of a surfer already in the water, holding the board with the camera positioned behind him, the video model only has to do one thing add motion. This is how you write the image description. Speak in ideas, not technical instructions. Describe the moment like a scene description. Keep it short. You want the agent and the model to handle cinematic lighting and composition. So for the surf video, I started on the Lovart home screen and wrote a short scene description. A cinematic film frame at ocean water level with a male surfer in the water holding his surfboard while swimming forward. Then I selected Nano Banana Pro from the image section and clicked create. Once the image was generated, I clicked on it. This makes it available inside the agent as an ingredient. That's the key step. You're locking the image as the foundation of the scene. Only move forward once the image feels like a real movie frame. If it's not right, adjust the text, upscale it, or refine individual elements. Never rush the image stage. For the snowboard video, I did the same process. A cinematic film frame in a snowy mountain environment with a male snowboarder riding downhill at speed, snow spraying from the board. For the pirate video, a 1600s pirate ship deck during battle preparation with pirates moving through the frame, cannons visible, dramatic lighting. A strong base image reduces regeneration loops by 70 to 80%. If the image is right, the video works on the first or second attempt. If the image is wrong, you'll regenerate 10 times and still get artifacts. This is the principle I've learned from testing. Never ask a video model to invent a new pose. If the action changes, generate a new image. Don't force the model to hallucinate motion from a static frame that doesn't support it. Now you move to video generation, and this is where the model matching matters. Different models handle different motion types better. For the surf video, I selected the first image as an ingredient and then chose Halo 2.3 as the video model. Halo 2.3 is the model I use for water, sports, and chaos. It handles fast motion, camera following, and dynamic energy extremely well. It's very good at creating human realistic scenes. Then I wrote a short instruction to the agent about the camera moving forward from behind the surfer with controlled ocean movement. Then I clicked create and I got scene one complete. Here's the instruction logic. One action per agent message. Don't ask for five things at once. Keep camera language simple, slow push, dynamic follow, slight orbit. The model performs better when the direction is clean and focused. Now here's where continuity comes in. For scene two of the surf video, I needed the same character, but a different action. So I selected the previous image as an ingredient. This tells the agent to use the same person in the same world with the same visual tone. Then I generated a new image using Nano Banana with the same man now on the surfboard actively surfing the waves. Once that image was generated, I clicked it to lock it as an ingredient. Then I selected Halo 2.3 again and wrote a new instruction about animating the surf action with dynamic camera movement. This completed scene two. Why generate a new image for each action change? Action scenes need a different starting pose and composition. The video model performs better when the base image already matches the action you want. For scene three, I selected the second image as an ingredient because the face was clearer in that one. I then generated a new image showing a male surfer after finishing a session, walking along the shoreline, carrying his board and shaking hands with a friend. Then I selected Hilo 2.3 again and animated it as a cinematic ending scene with subtle movement and natural interaction. This created my full cinematic surf video.
Before I show you the fictional cinematic workflow, let me quickly walk you through what I did for the snowboard video. Even though most of it was similar to the surf video, I did make a few model changes. To create scene one and two, I used the same exact workflow which created these two scenes, but for scene three, I did something differently. For scene three, I needed a close-up emotional ending. So I selected the second image as an ingredient because the face was more visible. Then I generated a new image where I aimed for a close-up of a snowboarder standing still after the action, face sharp and detailed, looking toward the mountain below. Then I switched to Gemini VEO 3.1 Fast. This model handles facial detail and micro expressions better than any other model. So for close-ups and quiet cinematic moments, VEO is the strongest choice. I animated it as a cinematic close-up focusing tightly on the man's face with only subtle facial expressions and deep emotion in his eyes. And that created this final snowboarding video. Now let's get into the fictional workflow. And as you can see, the pirate video is a bit more complex. It includes multiple characters, crowd movement, chaotic action, fire, smoke, cannons, and in some scenes, shouting and sound effects. For scene one, I generated the deck chaos image using Nano Banana Pro. Then I selected 12.5 as the video model. I chose 12.5 because it performs well on sound effects and vocal energy. It works well for chaotic moving through the environment action. I then animated it with a dynamic camera moving through pirates preparing for battle with readable chaos and shouting energy. This completed scene one. For scene two, I selected the first image as an ingredient to keep continuity. Then I generated a close up captain moment using using Nano Banana Pro. Then I selected Kling 2.6 as the video model. Kling 2.6 is strong for cinematic action beats with character presence. It works well with pushing camera movement and battle atmosphere. So I animated the captain moving with intensity, shouting orders as the camera pushes in. Now for scene three, I intentionally created a new base frame without using an ingredient. This is a new scale. Having a full battle of chaos, flames, cannon fire, it's often easier to generate a powerful wide shot cleanly as its own scene. I generated the full full battle image using Nano Banana Pro. And then I switched to Hilo 2.3 because this is pure action with big motion, chaos and camera movement through the battlefield. And here's something critical. Hilo often defaults to shorter outputs unless you specify duration. If you want 10 seconds instead of five, you must explicitly say it in the agent instruction. So I animated it with cannons firing, flames rising, smoke filling the deck and a 10 second video. This created my completely final pirate video. I think it absolutely looks amazing. And I also use the same workflow to create this battlefield scene. For glory! For victory! If you want to use Lovart yourself, you can find the link in the description. The power you now have once you have your creative ideas is insane. Everything you saw in this video was generated using this exact workflow. If your videos still look fake, the issue is upstream, fix the image, match the model or simplify the instruction. The difference between this and random prompting is control. With random prompting, you hope for a good result. With this workflow, you expect it. One strong image saves multiple video generations. If you start with the right frame, you don't need to regenerate five times. You generate once, maybe twice twice and move on. Loveheart enables this workflow because it gives you ingredient logic, agent-based direction, and access to multiple models in one environment. You're not managing exports or switching platforms. You're directing scenes. If you want to replicate this process, follow along inside Loveheart. The link is in the description. Start with one scene, lock the image, match the model, add sound, then build the next scene. You don't need better prompts. You need better decisions. Cinematic quality isn't generated, it's directed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.